Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I'll talk about how you can check your RAM voltage without going into BIOS. Checking the RAM voltage becomes important sometimes, especially if you're troubleshooting stability issues or tweaking performance such as overclocking your RAM. I'll basically show you two easy ways and both of them make use of free and popular third-party utilities. So the first method is to use a very popular utility called CPU-Z. You can download this software from the official website, which I have included in the description below. Basically, you head over to their website and download the setup link. Once you have this utility installed and running, this is what you will see first. From here, basically, we need to navigate to the SPD tab. In this tab, you will see the voltage ratings right at the bottom of this tab. The default voltage is usually around 1.2 volts for DDR4 and 1.1 volts for DDR5. I'm using a DDR4 RAM, hence it shows 1.2 volt and I do not have XMP profile enabled. If you enable XMP, you may see higher voltage like 1.35 volts or even more. It is worth pointing out here that higher than default voltage values can lead to stability issues. The second way to check the RAM voltage is to use another popular utility called HWinfo. This is a similar light utility like CPU-Z. You can use this in case if CPU-Z malfunctions or if you just want to double check the voltage values. So you can download it from the official website. I have included the link to this utility in the description box below. Once downloaded and installed, you can simply run it. I recommend having both of these checkboxes unchecked and then press start. Now with the utility running, here under the memory module sections, you will see a column labeled as V, which shows me the voltage value of my RAM sticks which again is 1.2 as that is the usual default value for DDR4 RAM sticks. And that's how you check your RAM voltage without having to go into your BIOS. If this video helped you out, please like and subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching.